Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make lobster teriyaki. I'm going to show you how I make my own teriyaki sauce, which is very simple and delicious. How to prepare lobster tails and how to decorate to get a gorgeous lobster dish for your dinner. So let's begin to make the delicious teriyaki sauce. So let's combine one third cup of honey. One third cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of cooking wine, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and half teaspoon of ground black pepper into a bowl. And give it a very quick mix to get everything combined. For the next step, I'm going to cut half of yellow onion into slices. Smash two garlic cloves. And cut off the outer layer of ginger. I use a little bit of ginger in this recipe because usually ginger releases very strong flavor to the sauce if we use it too much. For the lobster, what I want to do is take a kitchen shear and trim right down the center of the lobster up shell and use our fingers to split the shell open just enough to separate the meat from the shell. Then we grab the meat and pull it up through the center and lay the meat over the top of the shell just like so. Now we can season the lobster meat with a little bit of salt and then sprinkle with generous amount of all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to pour some cooking oil into a saucepan and place in ginger and garlic cloves and fry until they turn brown to get the flavor. Then remove them from the pan Place the lobster tails into the pan with the meat facing down and stir for a couple of minutes. And then turn them over. Then I'm going to pour over our teriyaki sauce that we made earlier. Place in some sliced yellow onion. And now I'm going to cover my pan with a lid and let it simmer for 4 minutes on each side. Then I'm going to remove the lid and cook until the sauce is thickened on high heat. For the final step, I'm going to place the lobster tails on a plate and also place some chopped pineapple for the garnish and it can be served with steamed vegetables like carrot and broccoli so if you like this recipe please give it a thumbs up or if you make the dish be sure to give me a comment below and let me know how you like it and thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye